Get ready for another big day, guys, because today we have our second order of fake rock decor in trees and etc. from Universal Rocks, because apparently one Penske truck's worth wasn't enough. So we ordered some more. Take a look. The only problem is it's five degrees outside. It is unbearably cold. And there is our second order. Thankfully, our driver is amazing, and we're gonna together get this unloaded. Oh no, <laughs> look who followed us here. It's the gnome. Look, this is one of the steps that kids can step up onto to look at the, the higher up enclosures. This is awesome. So one of the big differences between doing this in the summer and doing this in the winter is first off the panels are stiffer which is fun and then secondly these i guess are stored outside so they have a little bit of water on them in between each panel and that froze and sticks the panels to each other so this makes it twice as fun to do last one right i think we did it Thank you so much, James. It was fun. I'm this glad was, I was able to help. Oh, we are so lucky to have you willing to help us out. We kind of just put things everywhere, but... Yeah, we, it'll lay out perfectly for you once you get everything. This is James. He has a YouTube channel as well and an Instagram. Look him up, James Anthony. He's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok too as well. The official James Anthony. Go check him out. And thank you again for all of your help. No problem. Thank you for inviting us. Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved this is done. It's been fun. I think I'm going to head out now, guys. I got a long drive. Do you have to go all the way back down to Texas? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Montgomery, maybe Florida. So you're going somewhere warm. <laughs> yeah. Lucky. I have to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no. He followed us inside. I think I think he likes you. No! I'm out of here. They made, I mean, Stuart's guys go all out when they pack this stuff up. So they yeah. made a double pallet, and that's why we couldn't take it out with a pallet jack. But we have to get it out of this truck somehow. Jump up there and stand on that side, and we'll break it. Break it in half? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we tried dismantling it, but some of the screws are stuck. All right, so I should stand like on this side and. On the very far end. Okay. I'll stand over here, yeah. and then I'll jump. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah. Yeah, maybe that's not gonna work. It might work. It might work. I'll it's try. breaking. Look, the two by four is breaking. Let's try this. <laughs> oh boy! It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. No. It was snapping there though. Try to try the wiggle thing again. <laughs> oh! Ah! Okay. It's like an wow. epic seesaw yeah. on your chest. On my chest. <laughs> it's snapping more and more though. Do you see that two by four? I see that. Well, we can pull it out a little bit farther. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, All right, yeah. All right, you pull it. Do you want to stand on it again? Yeah, sure. I'm sure this is OSHA certified, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm down and you jump. So we have stuff over, ooh, I'm really excited about what that I is. I know what that is. I know what that is too. It's gonna, it has something to do with Rex. So show off how this works. Oh, the step stool? Yeah, for everybody who is wondering. Yeah. Oh, there's one in there. Oh, cool. I think this, oh, oh a this. a cave in there. No, this is the ledge to put out here to hide a light underneath. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Stuart, that looks perfect. That'll give me my energy back. Oh, cool, because we'd like to have like either a monkey tail skink or a chameleon out here. Um, hopefully it works. It might not, but uh, if it does, we'd like to have this ledge here, and then we can have UVB under it so they can get their UVB while they're out on the branch. Ah, oh, that'd be so cool. I'm going to leave it in here then because that's where that goes. So there was a lot of comments about how people were going to view into these because the people who are shorter or vertically challenged, <laughs> you know, if they only are this tall, it's going to be hard. Plus kids are going to be hard to look up to that. Mm -hmm. So that's why we got these from Stuart. It's a step stool. So you can like... Oh, well, now you can see them from a whole different angle because yeah, you're tall. I can see down. 
Yeah, but imagine a kid on there. They're going to yeah. be able to look inside all of these upper it. enclosures. Ah! Yeah. Doop! Doop! Aha! Stuart, these are perfect. I love them. Thank you. And we have three of them to scatter throughout the zoo. And they're light enough that they can just get moved around. And we can, like, change which enclosures they're in front of. Yeah. I love it! Ooh, what else did we get? We really had nowhere else to put these panels, so they're in the middle of our retail store right now. What else? That's my dad's jacket. Thank you, Dad, for helping us on sh such short notice. Drop that off. Yep, but you forgot your jacket here. Oh, there he is. Oh. Wait, what did you see over there? It was the gnome. He's... <gasps> oh, no. So this is the False Water Cobra exhibit's water feature. And this is amazing. Look, it even has some ice in it already yeah. from transit. So the pump here, this tube is going to suck up the water, and I imagine it's going to go up here. I don't know. Will it overflow there? I guess we'll just have to plug it. It has a pump in it already. Yeah, the pump's there. So we'll just have to set it up and plug it in and see what happens. But it looks incredible. Stuart, you and your team did such a good job. There's even moss on here, or fake moss. That looks so, so good. Yeah, use that screwdriver. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm. this is some kind of a snake discovery sign. I'll just wait for the screws to come undone. <laughs> Take a while. Alright, ready? I know it's gonna be good. It's from Universal Rocks. <gasps> styrofoam! Oh, it's styrofoam! Oh my Ooh. god! What do you think it says? Poo entrance? Poo entrance, yes, I'm sure. Oh, oh it's a zoo, zoo entrance. entrance! That makes much more sense. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and they're employees only. Nice! So what's this on? Oh, it's on like a wood. Oh my gosh! I thought it was just like black background. Okay, so that, oh. that's going up there? Yes, yep, that's going to go at the, the entrance of the cave. So as you go in, you'll get to see zoo entrance. And then where's the employees only sign going? That's going to go in the very back cave, in the invert cave. Next oh, to on all that the wall? wall? Okay, yeah, yeah. around that door? Yep, this looks amazing. Yeah, it does. That is awesome. It's very clear on yes. what it is. Yes. <laughs> and I think there's one more thing to go with this sign in this big box over here. All right. I oh. think he sent things to go with the sign, the zoo sign. I think that's what's in here. Oh. Crocodile, crocodile walking. walking. Oh, you know what? I bet that's a tail. I bet it's a little crocodile. Oh, you think? Look, Emily's getting better with a knife. Oh, oh it is a little crocodile. Oh, how cool is he? <laughs> it's a walking crocodile, just like the thing said. <laughs> Does that one have a... Wait, what in the world? What? I am so confused. What is this? Is it a body of something? I, it's something reptilian. I see scales. Stuart always surprises us. Yeah. Is it a lizard head? I think it's the head of something. Oh yeah, I can see the jawline now. Okay. I thought back here it was like a body of something that maybe had to be put together. Oh, okay. Um, what kind of lizard? Is that a dinosaur? Stuart sent us a dinosaur! Alright, oh. that's totally a dinosaur. Is it a raptor head? Um, it is. It's an allosaurus head. An allosaurus head. Alright. Well, there you go. We officially have an allosaurus head. Nice. <laughs> this, this is amazing. I like the little spot right I'll, here. We're gonna have to think of something special to do with this. Mm. That is just too cool. Maybe classroom? All the classroom would That'd be, be fun. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can already kind of see what that guy is. And that's cool. That, oh. that is awesome. I think that can go up on the zoo sign. Yep, let's do that. That's awesome. That is really cool. Okay. And what's the other thing in here? It must be an iguana. Probably is an iguana. <laughs> Due to what the package said on it. Oh, it's a oh, monitor. That is not, not, that is iguana. not an iguana at all. That's a monitor. That's still really cool. This could climb on the other side of the sign. Yeah, it could. Or it could go like under zoo. Like or up, up top, here? yeah. Oh yeah, he's like a, a, a corner decoration. Look at this. He sits on something oh, on the edge of something that's like that. That's cool. Yeah, so he could sit on like top of the sign. He could, yeah. So when it's up, he could hang down like that. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so that cool. That is gonna be cool. What's inside these? Oh! Oh, cool! I know what this is! Oh, that's gonna be perfect! So this is the enclosure that's gonna go inside the tree in the classroom. Oh, that's right, this happens too. 
Um, so while we were gone, of course, the day we left for something, we had an order of 18 pallets of exoterras. So my amazing dad was here. He met them here for the delivery and he put them all aside for us and here they are. But regardless, according to this, we have a tree somewhere back here. I think it's right over there. Yeah. But Emily can put a, a show from a different episode of that tree because it's been all over the place. And this is going inside of it. And then we're going to make like a door so you can like maybe, maybe what kind of animal is this? And then you open the door and you see it. I don't know. We haven't figured that out yet, but. It's going to be cool. That's going to mm -hmm. be in a tree. That was Dave Kaufman's idea. <clears throat> Look at all these exoterras. Yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier. I'm sorry, guys. But oh. yeah, we're, um. Oh yeah, and the table! The, the table damage. for the food prep station! Ah, oh, we're gonna have to build that! Wait. Like how you're surrounded by glass enclosures <gasps> and you're excited by a stainless steel table. We got mini wides, we got large tall exos, we got talls and mediums, and look at all those! Ooh. Those are 40 gallons. Oh, those are the big ones. So some of these are going in the zoo. Some are going in the retail area for to put reptiles for sale inside of. And some of them are going to be for reselling purposes. So there's a lot of exoterras here. And this it's is... a top hat. It's a top hat. Yes, a very large top hat. This is the pop-up dome, I guess flat top dome, for Rex's enclosures. So this is going to go over in that corner over there. But that's a long ways away, so it's kind of hard to show you how it's going to work. So we're just going to put it here for now. But basically, kids are going to... Or adults, because let's face it, I'm gonna want to go in there, and you might too. We're gonna crawl in, and then you can pop your head up through the base of her enclosure, like this. And then there's there's yeah protective film on there right now. This should be crystal clear. The yeah. only thing is that's gonna be really tall for Rex. Like yeah. Rex standing goes to about here, which that's true. is she's only little. like she's not that big. So so we're gonna have to put that rock, which is upside down right now. Okay. This one we're gonna put beside it. Oh, I see. So she can climb up there. Yep, this rock's going in that corner so she can climb up the rock and on top of the dome. And then we're going to have a light on top to encourage her to bask right okay. up Okay. So the dome is going, like, there. Yep. Right? Okay. I thought you said it was going in the corner, and I was like, oh, no, that's No, no. It's going out a little bit. Because then you can see a kid fully standing in ah. the dome. You can see their legs down in the water and their head and up their in the head. dome. And that's actually, I mean, that's easy four or five feet. Yeah. We might have to put a stepping stone down there for some of the kids to step up in there. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be so cool. Yeah, it is. What are you doing? Look, my top hat is too big. Your top hat is way too big. Well, you have fun. Oh, that's really heavy. I'm just gonna leave you there. Goodbye. Now we have a box bigger than Emily yeah. in every dimension. It doesn't say what's inside this one. It's taller, wider, and well, it might not weigh more than you, but. Hey. <laughs> I like how Stuart just sends you stuff you don't know what you're getting. I know, it's so great! Oh, like, I have an idea. So what we do, guys, because people have been like, how can you not know what you're getting? We send Stuart a general idea of what we're looking for for the zoo, or some cool thoughts that would be neat to implement. Like then, a sign above the door, like of the cave. Yeah. Like we just say, hey, we need something that goes there. Right, and then he and his <clears throat> amazingly um, creative team just take off from there, and they totally blow us away with all their final creations. So, what's in here? Oh, oh, cool! The universal rock sign! Oh, okay. So that's the wood that's going up, and then this will come off, and then this blue will probably come off as well, is my guess. So it'll be a white universal rocks. Oh, that makes sense. That's just a protective on the wood. coat. Yep, yep. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I like how it's on uh, a, rock. a rock, too, yeah. yeah. So this one is, since we mentioned Stuart so much, we asked him to send something that we can like put in the background that's movable. Yeah, like put it there. Like this, yes. <laughs> Perfect. So we can do stuff like that. Yeah, we can okay. have Universal Rocks behind us. Yes, because we love Universal Rocks. <laughs> and then there's those. Letters! Letters! What do the what letters spell? spell? I think we have a puzzle to do. We have... Uh-oh. Oh, I don't no. like anagrams. Hmm. That's, uh... <laughs> what is what? it supposed to spell? <laughs> That is a lot of letters of the alphabet. <laughs> is, and then, is this a D, a B, a P, or a Q? So we have some unscrambling to do here. Yep. Oh, you know what? I know what this says. I know exactly what that oh. says. Yep, I do yep, too. Because that's what I was waiting for. I'm like, where are ah. those things at? Okay, so now <laughs> this will be a lot easier now that yes. I know what it's supposed to spell. Do you want to spell it out? Yes. <laughs>
That's cool. Ta -da! Entrance and parking is back. And yep. that's gonna go on the other end of the building that yep. faces the main highway. So like if you go out the door and go around. Because like our building is like faced in reverse for some reason. So we're gonna put this on that side so people know to come back here. Yep. And then we're gonna have these alligator footprints. Oh, these look so cool. Yeah, they do. <laughs> We're gonna have these trailing around the side of the building to kind of show you to go back there. That is awesome. That is cool. Well, hi there, Miss Emily. It is oh, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. It's it's nice to meet you too. Oh my oh! God! Ah! Ah, took off your head. Oh. I think there's one more sign over there to open up too. Oh yeah, there's another box that's got to be opened. So let's go do that after Emily puts this away. Okay, so this is back together. We still have to go through this sign, whatever this one is. Um, but I don't know where, it's too heavy for me to lift up here. So I wonder where Emily went. Oh, hello. Can I interest you in some M&M's? I mean, M&M's are delicious. Here, let me check you out. Here, do you need some help, yes. Mr. Yes, Dinosaur? Yes, I would love, thank you. All right, we're gonna have to hire better employees than, than dinosaurs. 36.95. All right, I will just, here. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Threw my wallet at you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dinosaur. Thank you, come again. All right, so we have the top off of this one. Last box. Last box. What is <gasps> More styrofoam. More styrofoam. I don't know what this one is either, though. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, really? this is not ours. Wow. Oh. Okay, I think I know what happened here. You know our carpenters, the uh, ball python breeders, who yeah. uh, JSA the reptiles. The guys who built that. They built that. And everything in that room. And all the cages in the zoo, all of the, the wooden structures anyway, they own JSA reptiles and the light guys. And they must have reached out to Stuart and had him make a sign for them too. And they just put it in our order. That is cool. What? So now we have a JSA sign. Yeah, where are we gonna put it? Yeah, this? where are we gonna put the JSA yeah. sign at? Does this mean we own the company? Like, does. did we just inherit the company from Joe because we now have his sign and the light guys? Yeah, you know what, Joe? You did a lot of work here, but I think we officially own JSA Reptiles now. Yep, this is our beautiful new sign. Don't worry, Joe and Sheena and John. We'll keep you on as employees. We will. But that is cool. That is, I love the, the black splotches. Yeah, it's like the paint was spattered on mm -hmm. there. Especially right here with how the, when the, where the letters continue through the logo. That looks really that nice. That is cool. So that uh, is the rest of our order from Universal Rocks. We are going to go home tonight and come back tomorrow and clean up all of these and get going on wrapping that and doing inventory stuff and uh, all sorts we have going on tomorrow, actually. So we'll see you then. Okay, we are back again for another day. And the first thing we're going to do is move these out of the way since they are right in front of the doors. And I think we're going to just throw them into the zoo so they're out of the way over there. And then we're going to work on putting the rest of the slat wall up on that wall back there. Okay, change of plans. Our huge order of cocoa blocks just got delivered, so Ed and I are going to spend the next... I don't know, half an hour unloading it. We ordered so much that they couldn't fit it into a truck with a lift gate, so we have to unload it by hand. Holy cow, she wasn't kidding when she said it was over our heads. That's a ton of cocoa blocks. <laughs> <sighs> well, that was an adventure. <sighs> That was a lot of cocoa blocks to unload in a short amount of time. I don't, I don't understand how you got them in one pallet. I have I no idea. You stacked them nine feet tall. Yeah, but... that's probably why we couldn't do a lift gate. Yeah. <sighs> well. I don't know if I would have trusted the lift gate anyways. Yeah, really? I saw that thing leaned in the truck. No, I missed that. Oh, he was like wheeling it out and it went. I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we dismantled it then. And uh, now we have tons of cocoa blocks to sell to customers when we can yeah. open. Or if anybody wants a special order and you need some cocoa blocks watching this in your Minneapolis St. Paul area. That's true. We can sell it to you early, yeah. even before we open if you want. All right, Ed has been working on something in the rodent room back there for a while, but I don't know what, and he's working in the dark. Do you want to explain yourself? Not really. What are you doing? I am adding a timer. 
to the rodent room. Oh, for the light? For the light. Oh, cool. Then we won't have to turn it on and off. Nope. What are you doing for times? Like right. 10 hours on or 12 and 12? Well, you have fun with that then. All right, thank you. Have fun working in the dark. Right. I'll go back to the light. Ooh, look what was just installed. Our water bottle filler upper. We have already saved 11 bottles. It's really hard to drink from now. Why? You have to go like this. It... <laughs> That doesn't seem too difficult. It's just inefficient. There's yeah. this right here. Yep. Yeah. I don't think you're using it properly. No. Nobody's told me otherwise. So this has been an added uh, challenge that we have accepted um, forcefully. There are outlets along the entire wall here, which means we need to cut the slat wall and the aluminum tracks around where the outlet's supposed to go. So we've got that one done. We're working on that. And that's what's over here. So uh, yeah. Been a fun new uh, challenge in it. what you're trying to cover up with these bars but uh okay that's a slice in this table we both did that i think that was all you no it wasn't you did all that cutting yeah, well, i just held yeah. it you said it here with me yeah no one will know there's a slice in this table now just don't put anything heavy on it anymore well it is 11 o'clock at night but look at what we accomplished today all of this slat wall looks amazing and it goes all the way around there's the front doors and then we have slat wall over here <gasps> how did he get up there oh that's creepy and slat wall all the way over here so all we need is this last piece is gonna fit in that corner but we need a third person to put it up and it's just ed and i here today and then we're gonna have a three foot piece made, which I think was delivered at ASF today, but we just have to grab that and install that. And then we are officially done with slat wall. So then we can put all the retail stuff in. Woohoo! That's tomorrow's project. That's is tomorrow's project. We're gonna come back in the morning and start inputting all of this inventory that's been arriving throughout the week into our software. First we have to clean though. Yeah, it's kind of messy. Look at that mess you made everywhere. <laughs> nice. If you put not there. Ah, look what just came in today! Our cricket bins! So that's the top. It's laying on its back right now, so it's gonna go like that, if that makes more sense. Ed is putting it together. But this is what we are going to store our crickets in for, like, selling crickets to customers. Oh, this is awesome! And we got not only one, but three. There's two more in these boxes. So now the question is, I mean, they're on these little legs, which is really nice. The question is, do we put them on the ground, side by side, up against this wall and actually if you could comment this i'm I, we really don't know where to put them we could either put them all in a row right here or we could put freezers here for frozen rodents and then we could put the bins take off the legs from those cricket bins and stack them here on the countertop so either way the employee from behind the counter will be able to access them we just don't know if it'd be best to put them here or over there the only thing is if we put them there I don't know where we'd put a freezer, so yeah, we have to figure that out. Oh, they even came with a Cricut display case sticker. I'd assume, what, does this go like on the front, you think? Like there or something? Or up there. Or up there. I mean, that's cool and all, but what if we could get a sticker of an actual Cricut? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know where you'd get that, but we could put like a Cricut sticker right there. Yeah. I bet they or make them. The yeah. Ooh. Whoa, it's done. That looks so cool. And it's like really lightweight too. And it's actually really sturdy as well. There's tons of airflow or ventilation, so that'll be yeah. good. Look, to... you guys can be crickets. Oh. Oh. Now you're all a bunch of crickets. And I'm gonna scoop you up to sell you to feed to a lizard. Yep. <laughs> so, oh, fun fact. Uh, instead of the typical brown cricket like you'd normally get at Petcore PetSmart, we're gonna try to carry banded crickets. They're like a penny or two more than the brown crickets, but they last twice as long without dying. That's the big issue with brown crickets is they just die after you buy them, but the banded crickets don't. 
So we're gonna try to carry bandits here instead of browns. Do you wanna go put it in place? Sure, Or yeah. one of the places? Yeah, one of the options. Yep. Okay. Emily's making that look a lot heavier than it really is. It's not at all heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So, do we put all three of them here, or do we take the legs off and put them on the countertop? Sorry, it's a mess right now. Look, Menards, you can get 15% off with this bag. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> but I really like the bins. Yeah, the bins look great. They're so cool. And now we can order crickets. Yeah, we can. <gasps> look what else came in. Our Pangea order for retail. Ooh, oh cool, there's the plants. Ooh, and oh, I like how those look. Those are like naturalistic vines, cool. I ordered a lot of stuff not knowing exactly what it would look like, so I wanted to test it out. Oh, cool, we got feeding ledges from Pangea. Oh, that's awesome. He's not even listening. The gnome is listening more than he is. Oh, and this product I'm really excited for, these are biodegradable food cups. So you don't you just use a bunch of plastic cups for your crested geckos or lychees or whatnot. You use biodegradable ones, so they are better for the environment. That's so cool. There's a bigger size that's gonna fit in those. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Woohoo! We're gonna carry Pangea food! Well, we did not end up getting to putting products into our inventory software. They're all still there in boxes. Yeah, and there. for a few reasons. One, we had meetings with various sales reps of brands we want to carry or we're interested in carrying here, and those meetings took a little bit longer than we thought, but I think they're still important because we want to make sure the products that we're selling are good products, so that's why we had those. And two, Ed was battling the squirrel cameras all day today, but he yeah. won. They those, work. Those dang squirrels. <gasps> the cameras work again! Hooray! At least two. The two other, of them. The other... Still working on the rest. 14 still have to go inside. I had to basically solder wires together inside the camera and I was able to get it to work. And three, we realized after doing all the construction, especially with the slat wall, there was a layer of dust on everything in here. And we didn't want to put products on the shelves if the shelves were dirty. Oh, I'm sorry, I ruined that shot for you. You did, I it's totally fine. I totally stole it, I'm sorry. Yeah, you stole the credit. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, how dare you. <laughs> anyway, I've been cleaning look, the whole afternoon. Look, look, look. Dust. No dust. Yep. Yay! I'm not done yet, but I want everything to be clean here of dust before we take the products out. Because yep. we want them to be clean. And then we have clean. to clean floors, too. And we have to clean the floors. Yeah. So we've got a lot of work still ahead of us, but I think our next building update will be more products coming in, as well as putting those products into our inventory and putting them on the shelves Things are really going to come together on, re on the retail side, I think, in the next update. Yep. And pretty soon, Stuart from Universal Rocks and Paul with Custom Reptile Habitats are coming back up here for a week, and they're going to help us keep moving forward with the zoo now that yeah. we have more products and decor. The zoo will now just be a dark area of the yeah. building not being worked on anymore. I It'll know. actually get some attention again. It's going to be great. We finally have all this stuff to keep moving forward with it again. Yep. Really excited. So yeah, that's where we are currently at. Um, thank you everybody for watching today's video and I want to sincerely thank our Patreon backers as well for all of their generous support. I know I keep saying this, but we would not have been able to do nearly as much as we can accomplish here if it weren't for you. Both Patreon backers and viewers, you all help us out tremendously. Like, we were able to do slat wood walls. I've always wanted slat walls for products instead of pegboard, and I think it looks so nice, and we were able to do it thanks to all of you. Yeah, pegboard looks like crap. <laughs> Don't say that. There's going to be like store owners who use Slatboard. <laughs> uh, I mean, you never see it, but comparatively, yeah. it looks like crap. <laughs> I really like Slatboard. It looks amazing. This looks great. Also, big shout out and thanks to James. Thank you, James. Who was an amazing person we had just met and helped us carry all that stuff in. Yes. Thank you for helping us unload. Thank you to my dad as well for helping last minute unload those heavy panels. We are so lucky to have so many people in our lives. Yeah. And people who just show up in our lives and help us out. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, from the bottom of our hearts, really. And on that note, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Wait, I have two questions. Okay. First off, did you finally catch him or something? Oh, how'd he get there? Oh, okay. I thought I thought you caught him and put him in a box. No, he just he just made his way oh. in there. Can we just package him up and send him back to? Stuart, take your gnome back. He snuck his way on the truck. Is he wearing the Godsmack jacket? He is. Is he listening to Godsmack right now? I think. Alright, he's got Do good taste, like I guess. 
Also, thank you to Stuart from Universal Rocks and his amazing team for the second order, by yep. the way. And the creepy gnome. And on that note, goodbye. Well, they even came with a Cricut display case cri Cricut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to have a very attractive, if that's the right word, um, reptile sexy. retail store. A sexy store. Yep. Taking reptile care to the next level. Yep, <laughs> to the sexy level. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Yep, Emily said let's wrap this video up, and then she took a bite of chocolate, which we still have a box of chocolate from the, the opening that we did a couple mm -hmm. days ago. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I've been living off that chocolate. So I basically see, I come in from over there and I look, where's Emily? And then I see her little head poked right above there. Cause she's looking through the chocolate. Bye.